What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and welcome to my 2019 setup. Right, guys i'm gonna start with all the handheld equipment real quick we're gonna run through it real fast so uh starting at the first here we got our echo 2620t trimmer next beside it we have our echo 280t trimmer then we have our echo 3020t trimmer then we have our echo pe 266s straight edger then we have our Echo PAS 280 system. Um, I do have articulating hedge trimmers, three foot extension and post all attachment for this. Then we have our BRD, our bed redefiner 280 system here. All right guys, up next we have the PB 770T blower or my backpack blower. Then we have the new and improved Bad Beast, the uh, Echo PB 8010T blower. Then moving on down, these are new this year. Uh, this is the Poe Pruner um, 2620 uh, Poe Saw with you know pretty much the 12 foot extension. This thing's going to come in way handy compared to uh, the PAS system. It's just way longer all around. It's going to be a better fit for my company. Then down here on the end, we got a lot of landscaping jobs coming up this year. So uh, new to the. Uh, 2019 setup is the Earth Auger 410. So the EA 410 system is also new this year. So let's get into some mowers for y'all. All right, guys. So we're going to start with the newest piece of equipment I've added here. Um, this is a 2018 My Ride uh, 3000 Series Toro Z Master. Uh, got this last year, uh, mid summer, I would say. And uh, this thing's been absolutely great. I absolutely love everything about it. And I will be doing a review on this uh, later on this year for a one year uh, review for this thing. So then we have the, I bought this in 2017, right when they first came out with the uh, 10 uh, foot pound engine on these Toro Time Master 30s. And guys, 223 cc. Uh, it, is, it has been nothing but great for what I use it for. I think I've only got, well, I've only got 22.2 hours on this thing. Um, I used it for about 15 hours, so this mower probably has uh, right around 40 hours on it total uh, because I changed the oil on it a couple times and then I had them install an hour meter on it to make it easier for me. So 2017, this was a great purchase for my company. And then we bought this the end of 2017. Uh, so I'm not sure if this is a 2018 model, but uh, we bought it at the end of the year, 2017. So we got the Toro 48 inch grandstand. Uh, absolutely love this mower. Be looking for a review on it because guys, everything has a pro and a con. So uh, this will be the first review you see coming out because I've legitimately used this mower for over a year. So uh, be watching for that. This is a new 2018 uh, seven by 16 foot low trail trailer. So for $2,550, I got this trailer um, out the door, taxes and everything. Bulldog hitch, we got the uh, jack that rolls up and folds. Then we have the breakaway box uh, right here. We got our brakes to let us know, you know, how good the breakaway box battery is. Then we have LED lights. I installed an E-Track system on both sides all the way down it. 
We're running the equipment defender blower rack, equipment defender trimmer racks. The gate is spring assisted and then it also has brakes on it as well with radio tires and it is completely filthy because if y'all watched my video uh, we went and picked up a mower for a buddy of mine that he bought the toro 2500 titan hd and this is what we took and it happened to be a lot of snow and everything on the ground but he was being very impatient and had to have it so it's filthy right now this is what I carry in the back of my truck from a day to day basis. This and my safety cones are always with me during the season. Um, just for safety purposes, whenever I put my gate down, I put some cones behind the gate and I put uh, one in front of the truck and one in between the truck and the trailer. Then I did a video on this. This is what I carry on a day to day. We also have the Echo RB80 spreader here. Then of course, we've got my maintenance kits hanging up over here on the wall. Uh, for all my equipment, my blade grinder, my toolbox. Uh, the cooler will be in the back of my truck. The tool set will be in the back of my truck. All my oil and everything, nice and neat. And I did buy another piece of new equipment this year. Um, so well, I guess we'll go ahead and show you that. And we're gonna do a video on this as well. But uh, I bought the Echo 2511T, the little top handle chainsaw here. And so be watching for a review on this because I do own the uh, the Timberwolf back here is in the box, the, the CS590. And I wanted something smaller to get, you know, not have to hold a big chainsaw to do small little things. So uh, this thing I'm hoping is gonna come in handy and work great for my company this year as well. So I bought this about a month ago. Then we've still got all of our sure cans. Um, this is actually a new five gallon. Uh, usually I only carry one five gallon and I'll carry, you know, one, two gallon around. So we'll see. And uh, usually I fill them all up. When I run low on one or get empty on one, then I, I switch it out. That way I don't have to stop by the gas station. Just makes it easier for me to have. And then we also have uh, the Milwaukee PAS system. Um, this is new this year. They just released this. So we've got the, uh, the string trimmer here on it. Then we've got the edger attachment, the post saw attachment, and then articulating hedge trimmer attachment for it. So we're gonna let y'all know how well this battery powered equipment works and how long battery life and things like that is. Plus we're gonna do a weigh in com this compared to the PAS system of which one's lighter. Um, so be watching for that to come out as well. Here is my PAS attachments we talked about, the articulating hedge trimmer and then the three foot extension and post saw. And then, guys, I get asked a lot what I hang my equipment with. It looks so nice and neat. I use the Rubbermaid Fast Track, and these are what I use for my trimmers. And then these long ones here are what I use for my attachments and stuff like that to hang on. And then I also use these longer ones. This is what my blower handles, uh, the actual top handle goes over and hangs on. And then my tube comes over to here and my tube sets in between this. So I get asked a lot what I use to keep my equipment organized. All right guys, so thanks for watching. That's gonna do it for the 2019 setup video. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'll be glad to answer them. Hit that thumbs up button. If you ain't a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. We've got some great things coming for you this year guys. So stay tuned and uh, we'll talk to you soon.